Uh, we have a couple of, of quick tips. The first one is actually a smart home-ish quick tip. Craig says, uh, I was starting to have some gremlins in my home kit installation, particularly that hue lights were starting to randomly turn off or dim on their own. And this was annoying. I would have weird events like one bulb uh, in a two group set just start to turn itself off during the early morning hours. Only one of the two would shut off. Very odd. On one occasion, I was sitting in my office uh, the other night and saw a hue bulb start to dim over time. It was very weird to experience this, almost like my home kit setup was haunted. I decided to research and noted many postings about similar scenarios. In my installation, I have hue bulbs, cost Wi-Fi switches and smart plugs, Arlo cameras, and Ecobee smart thermostat. I also have HomeBridge installed, running on my Synology. So several components of my home kit installation. And, and he underlines this point, I also have Amazon Echo devices throughout my house. My initial thinking was that this would be the, the culprit. I checked everything and inspected any scenes or routines that I had in the A-Lady app. Nothing there. Then... While digging around inside the A-Lady app on my iPhone, I noticed a reference to hunches. What? Lo and behold, sometime in the last 18 months, Amazon introduced a feature called hunches. In a nutshell, hunches makes decisions and takes action to change the status of some of your devices that have mapped to the A-Lady based upon observed behaviors and other routines. I started digging and stumbled upon a section of the app where there was a list of these hunches that would tie directly to the problem devices that recently started. I would like to see things like Alexa noted, he, he goes on, he says, but these hunches were the issue. And, and you, I found them in my app by going, you go to the a lady app, the a Lexa app uh, devices, hunches. And in there, it will offer you, um, for me, it offered for me to turn them on, John. So I, I, I have not turned them on. Perhaps Craig, you know, or someone's, someone in Craig's household clicked the button to turn on hunches. But mine, it showed me the ones it wanted to add for me. And I decided I wanted exactly none of them. But, mm -hmm. uh, you know, but, but yeah, that's. It's a good little tip, Craig. Thank you for that. Nice find, man. I'm I'm sorry. I'm I'm Yeah, I've never seen these. So yeah, it has four suggestions for me, most uh, involving turning stuff off when I'm asleep. Yes. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah, I had Which leads me, Dave, yes, uh to the question, how does it know that I'm sleeping? I don't know. You're getting kind of creepy there, a eh, lady. <laughs> yeah, how how would it know that you were sleeping i mean like one way to deduce that you are asleep is that you've turned off lights but if it's gonna if one of the hunches is to offer to turn off lights when it thinks you're asleep like well what data point are you using <laughs> hey lady to decide that i'm asleep because yeah that would be interesting i would i would like to have the a lady run my vacuum an mm -hmm. hour after it thinks I've gone to sleep because I have it set to run at 3 a.m. most days. And that's great. Uh, but it's not uncommon for me to be awake at 3 a.m. on that floor of the house and I'll be sitting there. And then suddenly I hear the vacuum, you know, start to wake itself up. And uh, I'm the one that's startled. The pets are totally used to this. They just kind of look at it like, yeah, whatever. Here it goes. <laughs> Um, but, uh, but for me every time it's like, well, yeah, I guess it's 3am. Okay, great. Should I go to sleep now? Just turn off the vacuum. It's fine. So yeah, I, I, uh, yeah. How does it know? That's a good question. Mr. Braun. These are the mysteries of the universe.